What's your your impressions from that, that late first half run? Oh, it's disappointing. You know, I, I didn't think we were very sharp. Uh, jumped on them early, you know, and uh, no, he's got a little cash. And, uh, 18 turnovers, uh, just fine stuff. Uh, you know, we execute very well, so uh, not very sharp. A little disappointed in, uh, in the way we played, but, uh, you know, late, we did a lot of good things. Moved the ball a little better, got it intelligent, and just kind of warm down. Uh, for a long time there, they just they played hard and played harder than me. That's lacks of execution kind of expected after Christmas break. Is there any? That's uh, an excuse. You know, we, we had four days off, but uh, you know, we had a couple deep, good days of practice. I, you know, and we started the game right. real well. So that kind of throws that excuse out. <laughs> you know, uh, the ball movement was pretty good. We jumped out to the big lead. But like I said, then we just uh, we gave up. Nine points on four possession, you know, just easy baskets. Kind of let them get their heads back up, and uh, you know, then we gave up some other easy ones. And you know, once they got the score, they averaged 83 points again, right. and 11 and 0. And they played with tremendous confidence. And so, uh, you know, you let a team like that back in, and you're going to have a chance. Maybe some silver lining that this happens before conference play starts. Well, you know, it, uh, I don't know if it'll help us coming over to Oregon State on Sunday or not. Right. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad we played the game. You know, we get Dylan a few minutes. Uh, it was good to get him out and get him a few minutes. You know, so, um, yeah, we, we needed to play a little bit. Uh, guys went home for four days, you know, from Alabama. Uh, a lot of travel, you know, uh, uh, we practiced 26, 27, 28. So we had three days, and like I said, I thought 27, 28, we practiced every day. And that was obvious from our start. But uh, then we got real careless and real careful. I know it's a small sample size, but how do you think Dylan looked out there? Uh, well, you know, it's just going to take time. He's been out over eight weeks now, you know, and it just don't turn it on and off like light switch. Uh, but, you know, his leadership qualities, all those things, uh, defensively, all the things he can give us. Uh, you know, we said we were only going to play him 10 minutes tonight. Uh, he wanted to play more, but, uh, you know, we had the 10 minute restriction on him tonight. And we'll, slowly build that up, uh, but, uh, you know, you can't rush that back. Uh, you know, be a little careful with it. We're not giving them a lot of reps in practice, you know, so it, it is going to take a while. Do the players maybe react a little differently knowing Dylan's back? You know, what's their demeanor like having someone of his caliber? Well, I, I think once he gets back full speed, he'll give us a big boost. Uh, you know, right now, because we, we juggle lineups so much, everybody's not sure of the roles, you know. Uh, and we probably, because of our injury situation, will not determine roles, you know, throughout the month of January. You know, so it, it, it's it's going to be tough on all the guys, you know, to kind of get guys in and out and uh, trying to figure out roles. And it is from day one. How tough is that when you need to win games in conference play, but you also need to find time for Ennis to play? But a guy like ahead of him, Casey Benson, is second in the country and. It's just a turnover ratio. Well, you, a lot of it will be determined in practice. A lot of it will be determined game to game. You know, every game is different. Uh, so, you know, it, there's no exact science. You know, and I do make a lot of mistakes. You know, so, uh, but we'll just do the best we can and, and you know, try to figure out you know, the matches that, that give us the best chance to win. And, like I said, if it was an exact science, you know, it would be a lot easier. Right. But you're dealing with personalities, and trying to get everybody to blend together, and you know, get roles, you know, accepting roles, you know, all those things. A big part of being a team. Back to a play starts Sunday. It's a whole different monster. How would you assess whether your team's ready for the conference or not? You know, I, I really don't know. Um, you know Usually, this time. Vets are settled in, but you know, with Dylan not being settled in, uh, you know, I think Elgin and, and the guys who've been here uh, uh, are a little bit more prepared, you know, because you know, we went over the three day atmosphere at Oregon State last year, so those guys kind of know what's coming. And, uh, you know, so it's just going to be a work in progress, and we'll go over there, we'll, we'll get ready the next three, four days, and, you know, give it our best shot. But Oregon State's a good basketball team. And, and they're always tough at home, so we know we want to play really, really well. 
Elgin called it the, the toughest road game that you guys played last year. You feel like? Well, the atmosphere probably was. Um, you know, Arizona's always tough, but you know, that game got away from us pretty quick. And, and, uh, you know, that game went down the wire. And, uh, so they, they did it. They had a great atmosphere. And, uh, you know, it was a game that meant a lot to them and meant a lot to us. And we were trying to figure out a way to get in. And, you know, so we knew we needed to have it. So. Good game. I mean, both teams played really hard, and, and we know they're going to play really hard. You know, it's going to be tough to match that enthusiasm and crowd and everything. So we definitely got to work it out. Have you had a chance to watch any of their games at all? You know, I haven't seen them play much. Um, uh, so to answer your question, what's it like? <laughs> um, I just caught parts of games here and there. Right. You know, after our game, if they're playing, you know, kids playing in the back row or something. You know, I, uh, I haven't sat down and watched them play a whole game. Um, I'm sure we would start with that tonight, tomorrow. So. You know, to start when you're up 18 to 4 or whatever it was, you just felt like they lost focus. You were still physically dominant on that. And it looked like it was the heat. Well, that was part of it, you know. And, and then we just, you know, I said we had some bad turnovers at the bottom. You know, things came so easy early. And then we just started trying stuff. I mean, we had 18 turnovers, nine each half. I mean, just real disappointing, you know, that we didn't have the ball there. Anything else?